this is Jay Kalpana here. In this video, we are going to solve the given non-exact differential equation using inspection method. So, let's get started. Problem. Solve y times x square y plus e power x into dx minus of e power x plus y cube dy equals to 0. Solution. Given differential equation. y times 2x squared y plus e power x into dx minus of e power x plus y cube into dy equals to 0. Consider the given equation as 1. You can rewrite it as 2x squared y into y y squared plus y into e power x into dx minus of e power x plus y cube to dy equals to 0, which is in mdx plus ndy equals to 0 form. mdx plus ndy equals to 0 form, where by comparing these two, we will get m equals to 2x square y square plus y into e power x and n equals to minus of e power x plus y cube. If the partial derivative of m with respect to y is equal to partial derivative of n with respect to x, then we can say that the given differential equation is an exact differential equation. Now let's find the partial derivative of m with respect to y and n with respect to x. We are having m equals to 2x square y square plus y into e power x and n equals to minus e power x minus y cube. Now let's find the partial derivative of m with respect to y. This equals to dou y dou y of for m equals to 2x square y square plus y into e power x. Since we are doing partial derivative with respect to y, so here x will be treated as constant. This equals to partial derivative of first term. Plus partial derivative of second term. This equals to here 2 x squared is constant and here e power x is constant. So you can write double as 2 x squared into partial derivative of y square with respect to y plus e power x into partial derivative of y with respect to y. This equals to 2x square into partial derivative of y square with respect to y is 2y plus e power x into partial derivative of y with respect to y is 1 is equal to 2 to the 4 x square y plus e power x. So the partial derivative of m with respect to y is 4 x square y plus e power x. Now let's find the partial derivative of n with respect to x. Do n by do x equals to do by do x of for n equals to minus e power x minus y cube. This equals to partial derivative of first term minus partial derivative of second term. Since we are doing partial derivative with respect to x, so y will be treated as constant. This equals to minus partial derivative of e power x minus partial derivative of a constant with respect to x is 0. This is equals to minus partial derivative of e power x with respect to x is e power x. So it's clear that the partial derivative of m with respect to y is not equal to partial derivative of n with respect to x. Therefore, dou m by dou y is not equal to 
do n by do x. From this we can say that one is non-exact. Right. Now we are going to use inspection method to solve the given non-exact equation. By using integrating factor, the given equation is reduced to an exact equation. Okay. So let's consider the given equation. Y times 2x square y plus e power x into dx minus e power x minus or e power x plus y cube dy equals to 0, right? Then 2x square y square dx plus y e power x dy, sorry, dx minus e power x dy minus into plus minus y cube dy equals to 0. Right? Then, we can rewrite it as 2x square y square dx minus y cube dy plus terms involving e power x that is y e power x dx minus e power x dy equals to 0. If f of x equals to e power x then f dash of x is derivative of e power x is e power x right and you can write this f dash of x as df by dx right you can write this as df by dx equals to e power x. df in the sense df of x by dx. That is derivative of f of x with respect to x equals to e power x. We know that f of x is e power x. So d differential e power x by dx equals to e power x. Then differential e power x equals to e power x into dx. Right. So now we can replace e power x into dx. Differential dx as differential e power x. Right. Then this becomes two x squared y squared dx minus y cube dy plus y into e power x dx is replaced by differential e power x minus e power x into dy equals to 0. We know that since y into differential e power x minus e power x into differential dy by y square equals to differential e power x by y. Okay. So, if we can divide the whole equation by y square, we will get y dx e power x minus e power x by y square which can be replaced by differential e power x by y and also here y square gets cancelled and here also y square gets cancelled so here the suitable integrating factor is one by y square Now, multiply the integrating factor to this equation. Then the above equation becomes, we'll simply multiply integrating factor to this equation. Then 1 by y square into 2x square y square dx minus y cube dy plus y into differential e power x. y into differential e power x in the sense y into e power x dx. Okay. 
minus e power h dy equals to 0 constant as equation 2. So the equation, the given equation which is multiplied by 1 by y square integrating factor will be an exact equation. We will show you later whether this equation 2 is exact or not. Then this becomes 2x square y square dx minus y cube dy plus y differential e power x minus e power x differential dy by y square equals to 0. You can write this as first term by y square minus second term by y square plus consider these two terms as one term okay so that this by y square can be replaced with differential e power x by y y differential e power x minus e power x dy by y square equals to 0. So your y square gets cancelled, y square gets cancelled, this becomes 2x square dx minus y dy plus replace this by differential e power x by y equals to 0. We have differential dx and function of x. And differential dy function of y and d theta. Right. So here we are ready to perform integration. Integral 2x square dx minus integral y dy plus integral differential e power x y y equals to 0. Then Constant integral x square dx minus integral y dy plus integral differential e power x by y equals to 0. This becomes 2 into integral x square dx is x cubed by 3 minus integral y dy y square by 2 plus you know that integral d theta equals to theta then integral differential e power x by y is e power x by y equals to constant which is the required general solution. Also you can write this as 2x cubed by 3 minus y square by 2 plus e power x by y equals to c. Okay. So this completes the problem. Now, we will do verification. We will check whether the reduced equation is exact or not. That is, the equation obtained by multiplying integrating factor to the given equation is exact or not. Okay. 2x square y into y y square plus y into e power x into dx minus e power x plus y cube into dy equals to 0. Then 2x square y square plus y into e power x by y square into dx minus e power x plus y cube by y square into dy equals to 0. Then you can split this into two terms since you are having two terms in the numerator and one term in the denominator. 
टू एक्स स्क्वेर वाई स्क्वेर बाय वाई स्क्वेर प्लस वाई इंटू ई पॉर एक्स बाय वाई स्क्वेर इंटू डी एक्स माइनस हियर यू हैव इन टू टर्म्स इन द न्यूमरेटर एंड वन टर्म इन द डिनोमिनेटर सो यू कैन स्प्लेट द टोटल एक्सप्रेशन इंटू टू टर्म्स ई पॉर एक्स बाय वाई स्क्वेर प्लस वाई क्यू बाय वाई स्क्वेर इंटू डी वाई इक्वल्स टू जीरो y square gets cancelled, one y gets cancelled, two y gets cancelled. This becomes two x square plus e power x by y into dx minus of e power x by y square plus y into dy equals to zero. Which is in m one dx plus n one dy form. Actually, it is in m dx plus n dy form, but already you have m and n, so we are naming them as m m one and n one. Okay. So here we have to check whether m one by partial derivative of m one with respect to y is equal to partial derivative of n one with respect to x or not. So let's find the partial derivative of m one with respect to y and n one with respect to x. Do m one by do y plus two do y do y of for m one two x square plus e power x by y. Since we are doing partial derivative with respect to y, so here x will be treated as constant. Okay, partial derivative of first term with respect to y. Plus partial derivative of second term with respect to y. This equals to partial derivative of constant with respect to y is zero. Plus your e power x is constant, right? So you can write this as e power x into partial derivative of one by y with respect to y. This equals to e power x into partial derivative of one by y with respect to y is minus one by y square. This equals to minus e power x by Y square. Now let's find the partial derivative of n one with respect to x. Equals to dou y to x of for n one minus e power x by y square minus one. Since we are doing partial derivative with respect to x, so y will be treated as constant. This equals to minus partial derivative of first term e power x by y square with respect to x. Minus partial derivative of y with respect to x is equals to here one by y square is constant, so you can write this as minus one by y square into partial derivative of e power x with respect to x minus partial derivative of y with respect y. So with respect to x is zero. This is equals to minus one by y square. Into partial derivative of e power x with respect to x is e power x, which is equal to minus e power x by y square. So here, partial derivative of m one with respect to y is equal to partial derivative of n one with respect to x, right? Therefore, do m one by do y equal to Do n one by do x equals to minus e power x by y square. From this, we can say that the reduced equation, that is the equation obtained by multiplying integrating factor to the given equation, is exact. Fine. So we have seen a problem from non-exact equation in this video. Hope you will understand. We will see you in the next video. Until then, bye bye.